Welcome back everybody. Today, well, I'm kind of restarting everything, so uh, bear with me. So as you know, or maybe you don't know, maybe I haven't posted that video yet. I have a 2010 Mark VI, there's 2011 Mark VI GTI. And now, well, I got a project car because I am going to uh, be going to the track this year. And uh, well, here she is. So it looks like a lot. And it is a lot, but uh, she's got good bones. Motor's got 108,000 miles on it. There's no seat, um, but the interior is really not that bad and the back is even better. Still got the stock radio in it and this model did have AC. And it has power windows instead of the, uh, the crank ones. Today, all I'm gonna really be doing is because I'm waiting on other parts. I'm waiting on timing kit, crank pulley, the timing gear, uh, water pump, and that's all she'll need really to uh, get started besides a battery. And then to run, she will obviously need a radiator and to get started on the front end. <sighs> top down and now we can go ahead and get the, the seat out and get that installed so we're gonna go ahead and get started on that first bolt and these are if you're wondering 14 millimeters so it'll be four 14 millimeter bolts one on one on each corner so one there one there one back there and another one up front towards the uh, trans tunnel so I realized that I grabbed the uh, passenger NB seat, not the driver NB seat. So that doesn't fit very well. Um, the inside, it fits fine, but uh, the holes on the outside are not matching up. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. I got the seat in, well, for the most part, it uh, does that, so we'll have to play around a bit. But one of my my uh, my biggest things about this car was not having a cracked dash. I mean, it's only got 108,000 miles on it. So, I mean, everything in here is pretty much brand new still. I just gotta clean it up a bit and, uh, and she'll be good to go. All right, so I know today's video wasn't that long and it probably wasn't really that interesting, but I wanted to give everybody an update on kind of what's going on and what I've been up to. So, I'm now a diesel mechanic, so I'm doing that full time, and then now I'm going to try and be doing YouTube as well, um, mostly just on the weekends. You'll probably get two, three videos a week, and uh, that's the way we'll probably keep it for a while until further notice. I am going to be uh, competing in autocross, kind of, and the plan is for the Miata to be that car. So uh, that build, or this build, is going to kind of revolve all of that revolve involve that is going to be the goal for this car so that's what it's going to be built for um as far as that goes the golf is going to be kind of my daily um we'll be doing a little bit to it i'll probably do the the t04 turbo upgrade for it because that's a pretty common common thing to do and it's only about 700 bucks for the turbo and then you have to get a tune for it which is another probably five to seven hundred bucks and then I'll need a clutch for it so all in all to do all of that that's going to be probably twenty five hundred dollars just on the golf so that's something I'll work towards the Miata it's going to be a pretty cheap build, to be honest. It's not going to be something super expensive. So hopefully a lot of you guys can relate to that. It'll be more of a relatable build or something 
more relevant. It's not going to be some super crazy overdone LS powered Miata. It's going to have the, the stock. It's got a 1.6. I may or may not do a turbo, but even a turbo on these cars, you do six, $700 worth in parts and then your time. And, and you've got a, a little street Lego go-kart pushing 200, 230 horsepower. And they're super fun. So the plan for the channel right now is uh, build the Miata for either this season, but with the coronavirus going around, um, we'll probably end up pushing it to next season just because everything's going to be pretty, pretty strict. So thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you for your patience. And I hope to keep making content and pushing it out there for you. I'll catch you next time. Later.